Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today, we're looking at space weather and a calm settling in. We'll hit new sentinel data and an update in galactic material inside the solar system. We've also got a live show hopefully coming tonight, but we are starting this morning with the last 24 hours on our star. Solar flaring is dropping out as the big sunspots have departed. Not much eruptive activity of any kind. Still have a lot of plasma filaments facing the Earth there, so their eruptive behavior is our top watch today. They outrank the sunspots in terms of danger due to the smaller size and lack of magnetic complexity in the active regions. They would need major development in order to start flaring in a significant way. So those plasma filaments are the bigger eruption threat as of this morning. It is also worth noting that the central coronal holes are likely too small to have any meaningful impact on the solar wind at 1 AU, really bent and narrow opening there, kind of rare to see. And over to the left, on the south, I'm almost positive that is the next significant coronal hole coming in, we'll confirm that tonight or tomorrow. Heading to the tropics, storm development expected in the Caribbean, you can see the rotation begin. Right now, most models think it's going to head north and directly into the islands, Puerto Rico, maybe Dom Rep or Haiti, and maybe even eastern Cuba. All should be watching closely here. It is forming on your doorstep right now. Could get stuck in place for several days, too. Up next, this is just one of several new products out of Sentinel, monitoring Earth's atmospheric chemistry. The data compared to the first generation of these craft is like magic now at this point. Honestly, we have the most incredible ways to track almost everything in the sky, from pollutants to wildfire products to clouds. Sentinel has raised the bar again for Earth monitoring satellites. Lastly today on the science docket is the confirmation that interstellar pickup ions of galactic material ionized off interstellar neutral atoms are way, way, way exceeding every model expectation for abundance. We've seen this several times before. Here is a titanic confirmation. It is the same as with energetic neutral atoms and space dust as these pickup ions are in excess because of what is being delivered into the solar system via the galactic current sheet. Remember, it carries dust, plasma, and neutral particles, not to mention the galactic magnetic reversal point, and the excess of that material is the source of the stuff that is getting photoionized into the pickup ions and being detected. Whether it is the Earth, Sun, other planets, or even the interplanetary space between the planets, all the signs keep being seen that the galactic event is taking over the solar system. Folks, tickets to the winter tour are available now. I would love to see you out there in real life. Shake your hand. This is a four-hour masterclass on surviving the coming disaster event on Earth, five cities in five months. Get your tickets at the link below. We also have only a few events left this year at Observer Ranch, self-offense training on November 1st after the Halloween event. Observer speed dating the next weekend, the 7th and 8th, come find your prepper princess or post-apocalyptic warlord. The film premiere and last pole shift conference of the year, middle of the month, come out for the end of our rookie season, ObserverRanch.com. Tickets to the tour are below as well, and folks, once more, I am aiming to go live tonight right here around 7 p.m. Eastern Time, 5 p.m. here in Colorado. The notification will go out via X, Twitter. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 4.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.